everyone. Today we're going over the ICE training and Ameriglow claw sights for your MMP pistols. I got mine on the shield here. I've done a review on these in the past for the Glock pistols, but now they're out for the MMP. So that's what we're getting into today. I'll step inside, we'll take a close look at them, and let you know uh, why I like them. The claw rear sight is a joint venture between Ameriglow and ICE training. And the basic idea behind it was to create a rear sight that could easily be used for one-handed manipulations should you get a click instead of a bang when you're using your gun. So essentially, it can be used to catch on any sort of hard surface, semi-hard surface, like a belt, a holster, a boot, um, a table, whatever you have near you to manipulate that slide. So just uh, using, like say, like an AK mag, for example, if you get that dead trigger when you go to pull it, you could just very easily run that slide. Of course, in real life, you'd be jamming it like that and get back in the fight and continue to fire. The sight is all steel construction and it is available for both the shield and the full size MMPs. They are different models because the shield is a little bit thinner, as many of you guys know. Finish on there is a black nitride or melanite finish, so very durable, very corrosion resistant stuff. And taking a look at the sight picture, you'll notice the blacked out rear, and it is sold with a few different front sights or by itself. So what you see there is the Luma Square front sight by Ameriglow, and that sight, for those of you unfamiliar with it, you just hit it with a little bit of light, and it will glow in low light conditions. It's also available with the Ameriglow uh, Pro Glow sight as a set, and it's also comes with just the rear sight if you want to use a different front sight if you're choosing. And the rear sight itself comes to market right at $40. All in all, I'm a pretty big fan of these claw sights. I've had the one on my Glock 19 for probably eight or nine months now, and it's still going strong. It's been banged on a lot of tables, a lot of boots, a lot of belts, and uh, still holding up. No issues there. Uh, good finish, that melanite finish adds, adds to that. And um, while sights are sort of a personal thing, as we've talked about here before on the channel, you know, some folks like three dots, eye dots, excess big dots, whatever the case may be. I do prefer either a three dot system or a blacked out rear sight with a bright front sight, whichever form that comes in. So these sights meet that criteria and I'm a fan. I definitely carry this gun with these sights and uh, feel confident doing so. So I guess that's the ultimate measure of whether or not I like them. So if you guys have any questions about these sites, uh, you can always post below in the comment section. If you don't have a YouTube account, you can also post over at my Facebook page. But thanks for watching guys. Thanks for subscribing and I hope to see you in the next video.